consultant into the industry for the last 30 years. Started with electrical, moved to BMS. I was one of the early people who wanted to explain what is BMS is. But still today, people still feel BMS is access control, CCTV, fire alarm. And what actual integration is, is always overlooked. And Ashwin, I know I've been knowing him for the last uh, 25 years. He exactly put the, his emotions in front of you. This is what we always expect. What handheld, what communication, what interfaces, what handshakes, everybody forgets. Mera kya hoga? Mujhe kitna chahiye? Main kab bahar niklunga? It's all, all that is decided. And we've been trying years together to change the industry. And I was very happy when I met uh, Sakhi. She said, this is what we need to do. We don't have a building automation forum. We don't have an organization. And this is what we should do to enlighten the market. What is building automation all about? So I'm very happy that all of you are here. We all of you should take this journey well ahead. And I expect all of you have an equal participation again in 2020. Thank you. I think it was very fruitful and uh, we talked about standardization in general, which is a basic problem, okay? Apart from standardization, I believe we have got two major problems in our industry. One is accountability. When I say accountability, you have to understand that client as a user, consultant as a specifier, integrator as a implementing, the roles has to be defined well. Now, I think the current market tendency is that we mix so many things. So, there is a lot of scope ambiguity. Now, the third point very quickly I want to understand is that time is not indefinite. BMS is the one thing which people do maximum rework. And if you tell that people are not joining BMS, I will not wonder. I won't force my son to join my BMS because it is the most tangless job which you would get. And who is responsible from client, the developers or the clients and the uh, project managers, the specifiers, everybody we are part of it. Now, do you want one industry to make money? We have to decide. We have to, we cannot be non-profitable. Lot of BMS SIs are getting uh, outdated, getting financially difficult. They are all working on a single digit margin. We are all responsible for it. So we, we have to ensure that the building automation, if it has to prosper, system integrator has to make money, consultant has to make money, the OEMs have to make money, and developer has to get a functional system. So if you don't deliver a functional system, you are a failure. And very, I want to just very careful because currently we are undergoing a, a sort of a period where a lot of IoT and things are coming. It's a wonderful opportunity, but don't think that building automation is so easy. All the IT players who have come into make into building automation has failed. If you look at 10 years, because they have realized that indefinite time, you can't get an IT guy sitting for a project for six months. So we have to understand and InBack can help us in to ensure that there is a time frame, there is a basic rates are available so that the heavy competition which is happening, which is a very unhealthy competition, we don't have. And we have an industry which makes money. It is functional. People have confidence. BMS is no more a messy system, a big messy uh, system. It is a working functional system. And we deliver that, then the automation and AI and the other things will become meaningful. We should be more paid than the IT people because we are knowing both IT and the automation. So we should stand up and the industry should stand up. I think InBack should do some basic rates and basic time limit. This project is for six months. After every month, there is a price involved. You're not going to free. And if you don't get, you don't get good people. If you don't have good people, there is no good working uh, automation system. So should we have a belief? And I wish uh, InBack can play a big role. And uh, whatever contributions we could as industry, we will be supporting that. Thank you.